ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear students grade 5 students uh, welcome to a new video for English class and this time we are going to revise module 2 entitled uh, looking back uh, I want to ask you to watch this video and watch it carefully so that you can do well in the next short quiz we are going to revise language functions covered in module 2 also you revise the grammar and revise the, and the constraint structures and the vocabulary presented in that module uh, remember this module was named looking back so everything we studied in this module was talking about past events so bear in mind that we are going to focus on using the past simple during this video First lesson in this module was song. In the vocabs, we had sailing, surfing, scuba diving, camping, fishing, hiking, skiing, bay, and stay. Um, as you see, we see some activities that uh, could be done during a holiday. And remember, we say go sailing or went sailing, go surfing, went surfing, and so on. Let's see in this vocabulary. Fill in the gaps with the suitable words from the box. In the box, we have skiing, camping, sailing, and hiking. Number one, I like what? I enjoy walking up the mountains. Walking up the mountain, so this is hiking. Number two, we need a tent to go. Mm -hmm, very good. We need a tent to go camping. Number three, my favorite sport is, mm -hmm, I like the underwater world. Underwater, it's very good. It's uh, sailing. Number four, uh, sorry, not uh, sailing. My favorite sport is scuba diving. I like the underwater world. So it's scuba diving. Number four, uh, in what we use boat with a sail, uh, a boat with a sail, so it's sailing. Next, in page 69, uh, we were at the park yesterday. Where is the past of B? My brother went surfing last weekend. Last weekend means it was a past event, so we say went, not go. How did you spend your holiday last year? This is how to ask a question using did. How did you go? How did you spend? Did you come? Did you finish? as long as we are talking about last or past events we went skiing in the mountains last weekend yesterday 2018 um, three days ago any past expression so we have to change the verb into the past so be careful let's see these activities mm, first one read and choose the correct answer number one i was at the sports center center yesterday we have am um, are was and where see the last word is yesterday so you have to choose between was or where but here it says i so i i was very good uh, number two the children camping last holiday children is plural more than one so the children and the last holiday so we have to choose went very good Second activity, do a strong between brackets. You have a word that needs a correction. It's wrong. Try to fix it. Yesterday, I go fishing with my family. This is a very common mistake. Yesterday, I went. Uh, next one. Last year, we go skiing again. Last year. This is past. We can't say we go skiing last year. We should make it we went skiing. Next vocab uh, in top stars, we had the words explore, cave, rock, treasure, bury, and the past is buried, look for, message, find, and it's past found, surprised, or astonished. Let's see. Uh, look for, surprised, buried, and message. Number one, can you my pen please i can't find it 
can you look for? Very good. Number two, Omar, the box in the garden. What did Omar do with the box in the car in the garden? He buried it. Number three, I was really what when I knew that she is your sister. I didn't know that. But when I did, I was really surprised. Number four, check your phone. You have got a very good, you have got a message. Look again. When did you go to London? See, we are practicing more and more on the past simple tense. He said, I went to London five years ago. Or I went to London in the year 2017. Did you go to the shopping center last Saturday? Yes, I did. If it's no, it's no, I didn't. Where were you yesterday afternoon? I was at the park. I didn't go anywhere. I visited my uncle. I was at home. Read and choose the correct answer. Again, it's on the past simple. Where dash you yesterday morning is or was or where? See, it's yesterday, so you have to choose between was and where or where, but here it says you. So where were you yesterday? Number two, the children to the zoo two days ago. Two days ago, it means you have to choose a past option. Go, goes, went, or are going. The children went to the uh, to the, uh, the zoo two days ago. Three, yesterday I was at the amusement park. Yesterday I was at the amusement park. Remember, we use was with the singular or the one. I was, he was, she was, it was, Ahmed was, Mansoor was, the boy was, Amna was, Sara was, my father was. As long as you are talking about one, choose was. But we take where for plural or more than one. Like you say, my friends were, the children were, they were, we were, you were. Our world, and in this lesson we had trip going from one place to a place and remember the most famous expression for trip or phrase for trip is a school trip uh, we have art exhibition it's a place where paintings or portraits are displayed for the public and uh, the painting uh, it's something like uh, a portrait uh, next we have a magazine and in the magazine there are articles uh, we have some materials like glass and the metal. We have uh, modern, it's a synonym for new, fantastic, amazing, learn, and it's past learn. Uh, by the way, here, learn also you can say learn, it's okay and no problem. Some people say learn, and some people say learn. Both are valid and okay. And we have the word leave, means go, of come or arrive, and it's past is left. You are going to fill in the gaps again using the words in the box learn, art exhibition, glass, and article. Number one, she visited and what and saw a lot of paintings. Of course, she visited an art exhibition. Number two, I read an about ancient cities. What can be read here? It's an article. We how to draw beautifully in the art class. It's an art class. So we learned or we learn number four this bottle is made of yes the only material that is possible here is glass a log box again using the word when when joins two sentences that um, occurred uh, one after another uh, when we arrived we had lunch uh, Something happened first and something happened next. We arrived first and we had lunch next uh, or later or second. So we say it like this. When we arrived, what happened? We had lunch. Try to do it here. And remember, you are always requested or asked to use the past simple. When Ali up, he went to school. We need a past. The past is very good. It's got. Number two, when Dana home, she did her homework. Again, we need a past. 
and Dana went home. Number three, Rima and Hasna, their dinner when they finished the lesson. Again, we need the past. The past here is the verb had. It's the past all had. Let's talk. And the last set of vocabs. Uh, we have roller blade, play hockey, send an email, type, and speak English. Um, here are some things uh, that you could or couldn't do when you were young. Um, another activity fill in the gaps with the words roller blade, send, type, and hockey. Uh, type means to write on a computer, to write on a keyboard. Number one, me an email, please. It's send me an email, please. Number two, Sheikha can very fast. She can type very fast. Three, Hamad enjoys playing. Playing what? Playing hockey. Number four, could you, when you were five years old, could you roller blade when you were five years old? box about ability in the past in um, when we wanted to talk about ability in the past we don't use the word can we talk about ability in the present time using the can like you say i can speak english i can drive a big car i can write a short paragraph can talks about something or we use it to talk about something that uh, we can do now but in the past we can't use can, we should use could or couldn't, if it means um, uh, disability. Uh, look at these examples like when I was six years old, see it's past. When I was six years old, I could talk. When I was six years old, I couldn't speak English. Could you rollerblade when you were six years old? Uh, you can either say yes, I could or no, I couldn't. Let's practice here question could you count to 20 when you were six years old here is a question that needs could yes i could or no i couldn't so the option here is yes i could where were you yesterday i was at home did you go to the cinema last weekend no i didn't finally write a diary of five sentences about your last friday uh, or what uh, you did last friday uh, remember, we discussed this on today's. Uh, we said, when did you go? Where did you go? Who did you go with? And what did you do or see there? Um, as a reminder, you can say anything like you say, last Friday, I went to the zoo. Uh, I arrived there uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning. I went with my family. Uh, I saw many animals. I fed uh, some of them. Uh, we ordered food and we had lunch together. Uh, it was an amazing day. Uh, something simple like that. Thank you. Dear student, that's all for this uh, week. Take care and see you next time.